Warning, cheaters may contain adult themes and strong language. Parents are cautioned that this program may not be suitable for children. Coming up on this episode of Cheaters. Your suspicions are correct. We've caught him with two different women. Would you like to talk to him? Definitely. Would you like to confront him? Definitely. In front of the whole world? I don't care. Because if you gave, you'd have kept zipper zipped, right? From Cheaters surveillance cameras, you are about to view actual true stories filmed live, documenting the pain of a spouse or lover caused by infidelity. This program is both dedicated to the faithful and presented to the false-hearted to encourage their renewal of temperance and virtue. Just like you're just trying to keep a big secret from me. I just can't go on anymore. I need to know the truth. I don't like being the one that has to show you this. Oh. I asked her about his, and she said nothing was going on. Do you want to confront him? Oh, yeah. Hang me there. Yeah, I got him. Hey, go. Go. Get right. up, get up. Get up. Get up. Real reality television as brought to you by Cheaters Detective Agency's Private Eyes on Cheaters. Hello, I'm Joey Greco. Welcome to this installment of Cheaters. Meet Sylvia Vargas, a wife whose intuition tells her that another woman has captured her husband's heart. Needing hard evidence, Sylvia approaches the Cheaters investigative team for assistance. Sylvia Vargas, age 26, a student, mother, and wife who fears her husband may be abandoning his family. My husband and I met in high school. Um, we were just friends at first, and once he graduated, I was still in high school. I was 18 when we met, so or when we started dating anyway, and so he was it. I was the first guy, I was, you know, he was my, the, first, the love of my life, should I say. My family liked him a lot at first, um, the first year, of course. Then there was some problems from then on. It was, uh, he changed. He started to want to go out with his friends and kind of like became distant, wanted his own thing, wanted his space. He was an unfit father, in my opinion. He doesn't, he doesn't, my children are small, you know, they're not going to be small forever. There's a lot of things that they do, and they love them so much. There are days when I feel like, it's hard. But I look at them, and it, his strength just, okay, I'm okay. So they are my strength, and I don't regret, I don't, I do not regret them at all. If worse comes to worst, I have the best because I have my children and they're mine. And they're with me. So. If you suspect infidelity in your relationship, Cheaters licensed investigators may be able to provide you assistance. Exercise your right to be informed. Suspect insistent on remaining anonymous. Age 28, a car salesman suspected of giving his wife a raw deal. Investigation day 14. Cheaters detectives follow the suspect for weeks, weeks. Although several leads develop, the most interesting begins on this day with the sudden appearance of the suspect with a Latin woman after work. It initially appears he might just be walking her to her car, but he lingers suspiciously at the side of the driver's door. Investigation day 16. Hard at work, Cheaters detectives have now established that the female companion is actually a co-worker. Apparently, a workplace romance begins to brew, as evidenced by the suspect chivalrously lifting his companion over the rail. Meanwhile, the suspect continues to make excuses to Sylvia, excuses which Sylvia justifiably doubts. You're really confusing. You left, you left yourself on in your truck charging while you, while you were 
inside the office. Oh, uh, well, I called you inside the office. Wait, at night? About 9 30? No, I think it was later than that. I guess you had already left. I think it was later. Plus, I don't think y'all answer the phones anyway, you know? No, we don't. Well, like, it doesn't ring? No, we okay. don't answer. Y'all don't have, like, an answering service? Left what the hell, Toby? Come on, you know we don't. You know, man, I've been, I've been there for a whole year. And when have I ever told you that we fought the phone call to the answering service? Wow. What was wrong with you? Well, nothing, I mean... It was just a question. When, 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 when. Okay, so you're on your way over here? Yes. Okay, bye. But cheater surveillance tells a different story, as the suspect clearly takes his time with his new love and seems to have no qualms or worries about being seen. The suspect leaves the driver's door open with his feet dangling out for all to see. Investigation day 17. On this night, the suspect shows his full hand, taking his companion home. There remains no doubt about the suspect's second life. Cheaters closes the case. After the break, the confrontation. With surveillance cameras confirming her suspicions, cheaters must now share the findings with Sylvia. Coming to terms with the situation, Sylvia's courage is sure to be tested. This investigation has been going on for several months. We've been getting the information that you asked us for. I wanted to go ahead and show you that now, okay? Your suspicions are correct. We've caught him with two different women. Do you recognize her at all? Can you tell from this video? Mm -mm. He pretty much keeps his friends to himself. Have you been up to his workplace? No, I'm not allowed. Well, this is why he doesn't allow you up there, because she works there. Mm -hmm. This was them leaving work at about 8.30 p.m. This is very, very routine. He walks her to her car. Mm -hmm. And so I would venture to say that everybody there knows that he's sure. having this affair. I'm sure. It's humiliating. It's humiliating, it and I'm, I'm sorry for that. Let me, let me show you the rest of this. This was them on this next day of investigation going into his apartment building. Did you need this evidence to, to know? I needed it just to, to kind of like make the feeling that I already had solid and have proof and you know, be able to throw it in his face and say, how do you explain this? You can't, you know, it's, it's there. Well, the reason we did this today mm -hmm. is because of his routine and, and we believe that they are going to get together tonight. And you know what we do. Would, mm -hmm. would you like to talk to him? Definitely. Would you like to confront him? Definitely. In mm -hmm. front of the whole world? I don't care. That's and his problem. Are they heading in the general yeah. direction back to the car lot? Uh, yes. Okay, well, we're going to go wait there for Maybe they're going back to the car lot well, first. Well, have to go pick up her car. To pick up her car. Yeah. I have wanted this very moment for so long. You know, because before we were married, and I'd always suspect I'd try to go and bust them or whatever, and, you know, it never worked out. Just like, like he knew. Let's just get this over with. I'm going to leave this anyway. All cameras rolling, all cameras rolling. We're gonna get him right here. Could we talk to you for a minute? My name's Tommy Grand, and uh, I'm from the TV show Cheaters. Sylvia came to us looking for assistance. Uh, said that you were telling her that she was the only one She's your wife and uh, wanted to find out whether you were being true to her. Um, I can't believe you're going to try and deny it. I mean, what? Are you saying that you're not seeing anyone else? 
You're talking to somebody. She goes to the house, but you're just talking to her? Don't lie. You are lying. You know it doesn't anymore because I know what I need to know and it's over. It is so over. What do you think about that? He doesn't give a don't that's a lie. Because if you gave you to kept zipper zip, right? You would have told me. If you didn't love me, if you didn't want to be with me, you should tell me you wasted my time. You are a waste of time. What's your relationship with this other woman? Are you intimate with her? You are? Do you want a divorce from your wife? You should around. Okay, we wouldn't be here if you'd have kept in your pants, okay? Thank you. You're going home? Yeah, I'm going home. Are you going to go see your new girlfriend tonight? It doesn't even matter. Whatever. You all right? Yeah. It's not worth it. It would have been different if he would have said, OK, I'm seeing this girl. I made a mistake. If he came to me and said, then, I, you know, that would be like, that would be something. But, you know, you know he's I have probably... to go to these, you know, this extreme to try and find out what he should have told me. You know? I would have just really liked to have talked to her, yeah. just to know what he tells her, you know? Yeah. I'm very sorry. No, that's for... OK. I mean, I got what I wanted as far as, you know, the evidence. It's good enough. It's one thing to you know see somebody, but to know and have hear him say that you know he's been intimate with her that that means a lot. I know. Uh huh. Bob's over at the girlfriend's house right now. Let me talk to her and see how she's doing. He said he's going home. Our detective's over at her place. Um, if there comes an opportunity to talk to her, would you be interested in that? Hell yeah. Okay. Coming up next, the conclusion. If there comes an opportunity to talk to her, would you be interested in that? Hell yeah. Hi. Yes. Hi. How are you? I'm Tommy Grand. Uh -huh. What's your name? You work at, you La, work Fiesta? at La Fiesta? Yes. Um, you know uh, Yes. He's my husband. Uh-huh. Do you yes. date Henry? Oh, yes. <laughs> Could we talk for a second? Uh, no. We can't talk? No. Do, do you realize that he's married with yes. children? Yes. He was telling you that he he wasn't together with his wife yeah. anyway. Yeah, but I didn't believe him. You didn't? All. I mean, he tells me one thing. I'm not going to say what. Uh, I mean, I don't know you. You didn't know me. I don't know you. And I don't have a problem with you because I know him. And I know the lies that he can tell. Did he tell you that he loved you? Oh, yeah, of course. Who doesn't tell that? I mean, it's, those words what have are no the, meaning for. I'm sorry. What do they mean no, to you, okay. though? That's OK. Is that the kind of man you'd want to have a relationship with? Of course with? not. Of you know? course not. If, what, are you, what are you thinking? Will you still see him? No, of course not. OK, I, no, I, don't, I, I don't have a problem with you at all. No, I know. Because I'm sure he doesn't tell you the truth. I just wanted to know how long this has been going on. I didn't mean to, you know, inconvenience your family. I didn't even realize. In fact, I thought she did. lived by herself. You already did. And I, I don't care what he did. I just care what is going on right now. I understand. Okay. And we're very sorry. And, and thank you very much for your time. I That's really okay. appreciate it. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> she looks so, you know, not wholesome, but you know, she's 
she seems like a decent girl. And then he could take advantage of her that way. And it makes me realize how little of a man he is. But, you know, I'm done with him. It's over. I don't even want to deal with him anymore. I don't want to have to worry about him anymore. I don't, nothing. Just. With the confrontation now behind her, Sylvia remains pensive about the necessity of divorce. At the conclusion of the episode, Cheaters discloses whether their marriage endures. But next, Cheaters presents Nicolette James, formerly caught in the middle of a dramatic confrontation. Nicolette shares her thoughts on the events surrounding the ordeal. Nicolette James, age 28, Nicolette returns to Cheaters to discuss her views on the importance of committed relationships in today's society. The first thing I thought when I saw the cameras was that um, maybe it was some sort of police bust or something, and I thought maybe they had the wrong people or the, or, or the wrong guy, or I knew, I hoped I wasn't involved, but um, it was, I had no idea what was going on, so um, I was definitely a little bit scared and definitely uh, didn't know what to do but um, then when I saw what it was I kind of got mad Jake yo 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 Jake Jake I'm Joey Greco with Hi. Cheaters do you mind Danny. explaining it to Danny why you're seeing this woman behind her back what are you talking about okay, you know what? we got it on tape we okay, know what's going on listen, so listen, just listen. I'm gonna listen go back to the office listen to me 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 listen I don't even Jake's reaction at the bust was all over the place First, he denied knowing me, and then he said that I was his client from L.A., and I'm not from L.A., <laughs> and then he said I was a gift to his girlfriend, so he was all over the place, and, and luckily she wasn't having it either, and when she slapped him, I thought that was the greatest thing ever. Who's this girl? I don't know who that is. Okay, you know what? Who is this? <laughs> now, now, what's the story? I need to tell me the truth right now. This is my client from L.A. Oh, what kind of an okay, okay, so, so five now. seconds ago, this is you good. don't know who she is. Because and you're, I, you're, you're, I don't even know who she like is. You know what? I'm, no. At the bust, the only person that I wanted to slap was Joey, the host, because he was in my face and asking me all these questions. And it seemed very judgmental. Now, he didn't know me, and he didn't know the situation. Or maybe he did know the situation, but I didn't know the situation. And I really, really wanted to haul off and hit him. But I think it's a good idea that I didn't. Dude, you're super annoying. You got to just go. Like, uh, you know, you're annoying. The good thing that came out of my relationship with Jake was that during the time he and I were dating, I had met his boss um, a few times. And after we had broken up and Jake had been fired from that job, his boss contacted me and asked me out on a few dates and now we are married and it's great and as far as I know Jake still hasn't gotten a job and I th I've heard he's moved back in with his parents. How are you doing? Are you alright? You know what? I look at him and I love him and I want to just, I want to make it work but it's over, it's done, it's over. Jake, you had me fooled, you had your girlfriend fooled. You weren't that great. You were kind of lame. Um, sorry it didn't work out for you, it worked out for me, so, sorry. Sylvia Vargas and her husband have moved forward in their divorce proceedings, and at this time, the paperwork is still pending. Both Sylvia and her former spouse felt that the relationship was no longer salvageable due to the breakdown in trust. Sylvia has pushed forward alone and is currently recovering from the stress of this ordeal. Sylvia's ex-husband has since moved in with yet another woman, and cheaters can only assume that he would rather just put the whole incident behind him. After the confrontation, his female companion made good on her vow never to see him again and has also moved on in her romantic life. 